what is this amazing exercise that you can do from anywhere? It's the body weight squat. And it's one of my absolute favorite exercises. Here's why. Hey there, I'm Coach Tyler, and this is the body weight squat. And I think it's one of the best exercises, if not the best exercise in the entire world. And there's a few reasons why. First of all, you can do bodyweight squats anywhere. You can do them at home, on a vacation. You don't need any equipment. You, you don't even need any clothes. You can do bodyweight squats any time of day, anywhere. So it makes it incredibly convenient. Next, even though the bodyweight squat is a lower body exercise, it does so much more for you than just exercise your legs. It works your legs, your balance, your coordination. If you go deep, it works your flexibility and it gets your heart rate through the roof. Plus, it's gonna work your core at the same time when you do it with perfect form. Finally, why is the bodyweight squat so important? Why is it the most important exercise? Well, every time you stand up from a chair, you're doing a bodyweight squat. So, you're gonna do squats every single day, whether you like it or not. Which is why, right now, I wanna teach you how to do the bodyweight squat with perfect form, give you a few variations that are gonna make it a little bit easier and a little bit harder, and put it together into a simple workout that you can use to get amazing results in just minutes. The bodyweight squat is one of the best exercises you can ever do, but only if you do it with perfect form. So here's how to do it the right way and tips to avoid all the things that most people do wrong. So to start, you're gonna want your feet slightly outside of hip width with your toes slightly turned outward. You don't want them together like this and you don't want them too wide like that. You can play with the foot position to find what feels most comfortable. From there, you're going to put the weight about 70% in your heels and 30% in your toes. And you're gonna to wanna to try to make sure that all the points of your feet are in contact with the ground as you do the squat. Now, what most people do when they squat is they bend their knees forward like this as they descend into the squat. But what that's gonna do is put a lot of pressure on the knee joint and not a lot of pressure on the hip joint, which is the opposite of what I want you to do. I want you to put more pressure on the hips and less pressure on the hips. So what that's gonna look like is starting the movement by pushing your butt backwards, almost like you're bowing forward a little bit and pushing your tailbone backwards. And then as you start to descend, keeping the butt back, keeping that weight 70% on your heels, coming down to about a parallel position like this, and then standing back up. You can use a chair behind you or something that you could sit on to create that range of motion. And you're gonna inhale as you go down, exhale as you come up on every single repetition. Now, as you go down, remember, as you get into that lower position, don't round your back forward, don't round your lower back like this. Try to only go as deep as you can with perfect form, meaning that your spine is one straight line from your tailbone to the top of your head. So, push your weight back on the heels, one straight line, stand back up, okay? Inhale as you go down again, exhale as you go up, and you can play with the speed of this exercise too as you get more comfortable with it. Now, one more thing, make sure that your knees are going the same direction as your toes. So if you look down and you bend your knee, you should look down and that thigh bone should be covering right over the middle of your foot. If it's caved in like this, or if it's pushed out too far like that, you're putting pressure on the knee joint, which is a hinge joint that isn't necessary. It's gonna cause knee pain in the long run. So avoid that and make sure those knees go straight over the toes on every single rep. Now, that is how to do a bodyweight squat with perfect form. If you wanna learn an easier and harder variation, then I'm gonna show that to you next. If bodyweight squats are too hard for you, or they hurt your knees, or your hips, or your back, then here's a simple exercise you can try instead. Start by sitting in a chair, placing your feet slightly outside of hip width and your toes slightly turned outward. From there, I'm gonna have you put your hands right on your knees like this. And all you're gonna do is lean forward like you're bowing from the waist, and as you get to a good position, Press your hands into your knees to help you come to a standing position. It's like this. So lean forward, lean forward, lean forward. Now press your hands, come to that standing position, extend your hips. If you do this right, you should feel very little pressure on your knees, very little pressure on your lower back, and you should feel like you have good posture throughout the movement. Now, if this is still too hard, you can put your hands out to your side and you can help yourself get that last or this first few inches right there, and then you can transition to your thighs to stand all the way up. Or you can use a broomstick or something like that on the sides to give you support. The point is you're using your upper body to help your lower body do the movement. Move slow and controlled. 
Make sure you stay flat on your feet with about 70% of the weight on the heels and 30% of the toes. And make sure the knees don't cave in as you stand up because that's gonna put undue pressure on either the inside or the outside of your knees, which is the exact opposite of what we want. So move slow and controlled, focus on doing it with perfect form, and slowly practice your way into being able to do an actual body weight squat. If the body weight squat is too easy of an exercise for you, then I'll show you an awesome variation you can do that's gonna get you even better results faster. It's called the jump squat. So for the jump squat, it looks like this. You're gonna have your feet slightly outside of hip width, toes slightly turned outward. From there, weight 70% of the heels, 30% of the toes. You're gonna push the butt back, come all the way down to a squat position, making sure the knees go the same direction as your toes and keeping that nice tall posture. And as you stand up, exhale, and give yourself a nice little hop at the top. <sighs> like that, okay? And you're gonna repeat this strung together very quickly like this. Inhale down, exhale up. <sighs> and when you do this exercise, Man, it starts getting your heart rate through the roof. It's gonna boost your metabolism. It's gonna work your legs even more. So if the body weight squat is too easy, start practicing jump squats with perfect form and you'll get even faster results. If you like the idea of doing body weight exercises anytime, anywhere, as a part of your workout routine to get amazing results, well, then you're gonna love what we built, which is customized, follow along, body weight only workouts. And what this means is, if you go to our website by clicking the link below, you're gonna take a new client assessment. And in there, we're gonna figure out what exercises you should be using based on your actual skill level, your strength, your flexibility, and your individual coordination. And we're gonna build a workout that's customized just for you. Every exercise is unique to your individual skill level, and what that means is better results and much, much safer. So, if you wanna try a customized, body weight only workout routine, then click the link below, Take the new client assessment and we'll make a workout just for you. Okay, we can all agree that bodyweight squats are one of the best exercises in the world, but how do you put it together into a simple workout that you can do from home to get amazing results in just minutes? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. So, the bodyweight squat, great exercise. How can you put that together? Set a timer to go off every 30 seconds. So it'll go boom, and it'll go on for 30 seconds, boom, it'll ding again. And what you're gonna do is, as that goes ding, you're gonna do 10 reps of the bodyweight squat. Now, if the bodyweight squat's too hard, you can do an assisted bodyweight squat, or you can do jump squats if the bodyweight squat is too easy. You're gonna do your 10 reps, and as soon as you're done with those 10 reps, you're gonna pause with whatever rest period you have left in that 30 seconds, and when it goes ding again, you're gonna do 10 more reps. Now, the goal would be to see if you can make it 12 and a half minutes. 12 and a half minutes, that's it. That's 250 squats if you can make it that far. Now, don't do that on the first time out or you'll be walking and wobbling like this the next day. Instead, maybe just do one, two, or three rounds the first time. That's only a minute and a half for an amazing workout for not just your lower body, but your full body. And then over time, add a round over and over again as you get better and better and stronger and stronger. And you'll see faster and faster results. All right, now that you know what a body weight squat is, why it's one of the best exercises in the world, how to do them with perfect form, a couple of easier and harder variations, and a simple but extremely effective routine that you can do in minutes, I hope you start using this amazing exercise in your own fitness routine. If so, leave a comment and let us know how the body weight squat is going for you. And if you feel ready to try out another great body weight exercise, click the link right here to learn how to do the perfect side plank. See you in that video.